Welcome. The purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to model different zone heights in the same part of a building. I'll show you how to quickly and easily draw a relatively small office inside a building with a much larger zone height, such as a warehouse. The tutorial will also reinforce the concept introduced earlier of using construction lines, drawing holes and merging zones. Further information on the topics covered is available in the help file. I'll now model a small office with a 2.3 metre high ceiling inside a much larger and taller warehouse. I'll start by drawing the ground floor block at the height of the smaller of the two zones, where the top surface of the lower block will ultimately form the roof of the internal office. Select the add block tool and set the block height to 2.3 metres. Then draw the lower block perimeter to the external plan dimensions of the warehouse, which are 20 by 30 metres. Using the rectangle perimeter shape, I define the start point, then type in 20 space 30 and press the enter key. The plan dimensions of the office are 5 by 10 metres in the northeast corner of the warehouse. I go to block level and start with a construction line to locate the end point of the partition wall. Now draw the office using the partition tool in the normal way. Finally, name the blocks and zones. We now need to draw the upper block to represent the higher levels in the warehouse and the area above the office. The upper block has the same plan dimensions with a block height of 3 metres at the sides and 5 metres at the apex of the roof. Again I'll use construction lines to help accurately draw the vertical face of the upper block. Now draw a 3 metre construction line at either end and a 5 metre line in the centre. Now select the Add Block tool Set the perimeter shape to polygon. Move the cursor onto the vertical southern face until highlighted. Press and hold the shift key. Click on the first point. And then use the construction line endpoints to draw the end wall of the upper block. Confirm the length of the extrusion by left clicking a snap point on the northern wall. Now name the block. We now draw a hole in the floor of the upper block 
to remove the unwanted floor in the warehouse part of the building. Go to the floor level Select the draw hole tool and trace round the perimeter using the polygon option. Now cancel the draw hole function. Using the visualization tool and zooming in using the mouse wheel to view inside the building, we can clearly see that the ceiling above the warehouse ground floor has been removed here and all areas of the warehouse are open except for the office in the northeast corner. If the roof of the office is not usable space, it's best to remove its floor area from the total floor area of the zone above, which should be zero in this case. Select the floor surface, then go to the construction tab, the adjacency sub tab, and check the box to exclude the surface area from the total zone floor area. Now merge zones connected by holes using the merge zones dialog in the tools menu. Note the blue text in the navigation panel zone name here, indicating that the upper zone has been merged with the lower zone. Further information on these topics can be found in the help file and other tutorials.